Number 1. Museum of Science and Technique of Catalonia. Through former industrial textile manufacturing spaces and the spectacular architecture of this modernist building the museum shows the evolution of scientific and technological advances in Catalonia, paying special attention to their industrial application and their effect on society. Number 2. Mesia Freixa. The Mesia Freixa is a building inspired by Gaudi and built by architect Luis Munquinil i Peralada between 1905 and 1910. It is built on the structure of an old textile mill owned by industrialist Josep Freixa, who later converted it into his family residence. Of interest are the rounded cross sections and the use of the parabolic arch, which make the building one of the treasures of the city's modernist heritage. Number 3. Parque de Valparaitis. It's not a simple public park, it is an urban park integrated with the historic center of Terrassa. There are a couple of nice paths, not a lot of green were lay on, but long enough for a walk. Number 4. Escalcis de Saint Père. The home of the former bishopric of Egara, in the churches of Saint Père in Terrassa, is an exceptional architectural ensemble in Europe. Founded in the middle of the 5th century, La Seu de Egara makes it possible to travel back in time to the end of the Roman Empire and the first centuries of Christianity. Number 5. Casa Alegre de Sagrera. It was built at the beginning of the 19th century as a workshop and home for an important manufacturer from Terrassa. Original mural paintings have been preserved from this period. Major refurbishment in 1911 converted the building into a model for middle-class housing in Terrassa in an eclectic style within the modernist movement. Number 6. Grania de Ventura Park. Today was the second time I've been to this wonderful, friendly farm. The staff are so very sweet and helpful. The animals are wonderful for very small children. I went with my Freya when she was just a toddler, and this time she is almost three and had just as much fun as last time. It is difficult to get to buy public transport. Number 7. Cartoitza Castle. Nothing extraordinary, but if you live in Terrassa, it's a must-see. The castle is very small, but entrance is free if you can prove that you live here. There are some permanent exhibitions about the city, from medieval times to the era of the industrialization. There's a really nice maquette of the city. Number 8. Tower of the Palace. It is the only thing that remains of the old castle palace of Terrassa. It is 26 meters high and has a diameter of 7.5 at the base. In 1991 houses at the rear of the tower were demolished to make it more visible, and at the same time it was decided to create the square to be able to access it. Number 9. Documentation Center and Textile Museum. Located next to the Castel Cartoxa de Valparaitis and currently has specialized in the conservation, promotion and study of textile culture with the main objective of disseminating textile heritage. Number 10. Teatro Principal. A small theater with an acceptable stage. Of course, the overall view is good. The ticket system is much more advanced than much larger theaters. Missing a bar. There are several paid parking lots nearby. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.